Hello students, welcome to the next lecture on the differential equation. Today we will discuss about what is the exact differential equation. Myself, Dr. Garg, working in the School of Mathematics, Thapar Institute, India. You can simply follow this link for finding the various videos on the mathematics. So what is the exact differential equation is there? If you have a function f which has a continuous partial derivative, then all of us knows that we can write in terms of the differential as here. Now based on this, we can define the exact differential equation here. Any first order, first degree differential equation which is written in the form of here or you can write in the form of this f of x comma y then is said to be the exact when there exists a function f so that this becomes of the df. What is the meaning of that? Uh, what is the meaning of that is look like here. Do you think that can you write this function? Can you think about any of the term here? When you open them, this will be here. Yes, you can easily. This is nothing but the x, y. So it means this is my exact differential equation. But can you think about this? No. Why? Because if you think about here, then it must have the denominator part also. But the de denominator is not there. So what you can do? If you multiply this term with respect to the 1 by y square, then what will happen? This is nothing but my here. And then you can write this expression in the term of x by y. So therefore, our since these problems are very small, then you can easily think about these two terms are there. But what about this problem? If the problem be like this way, then do you find the value of the f in such a easily manner? No. So for that, what is how you can find the exactness there? We will see the necessary and the sufficient condition for here. The proof of this we will discuss in our last video. You can see them in the description part. But we will see in, in this uh, lecture how you can find the value of this f so that such kind of the problem be my exact. Once it is exact solution, then you can find the, once it's an exact differential equation, then you can find the solution of this here. That is the integration of the m dx, keeping y as a constant, plus integration of this n, make sure that you have to consider only those terms which is not containing x. We will see in the couple of the examples are there. We will see seven, eight examples so that you can easily learn. Now you have to solve this differential equation. Since it is the first order are there, so you always think about this. Firstly, you have to compare this with respect to m dx plus n dy. So this is my m, this is my n. Now once you are here, then you can find the values of the partial derivatives, this and this. Are they equal? Yes. Once they are equal, then you can say the differential equation is exact. Once it is exact, you can find the solution of this problem here. Integration of the m dx plus integration of here. What is the meaning of that is integration of the y constant m. What is the value of the m is here? x square minus 4xy of this plus terms in n. This is the term is not containing which, which is the term which is not containing x only of the y square. So this part is only y square are here. You can see. Now you can integrate them. In this case, y is constant. So this is nothing but x cube by 3. y is constant. So 4y is outside. Integration of the x is my x square by 2. This is y is constant. This part is there. And plus y cube by 3 is nothing but my c is the required answer. You can simplify them. You can LCM them. You will get the required solution. You can quickly move on the second example here again now instead of the x and y these are in the form of the r and theta so what what you can do you can replace in your mind x as a r y as of the theta so what you can do is you can compare this in terms of the m dx is m dr and so on what is that we will try to check whether this will be true or not so what is that in that case our target is to y is replaced by theta and n x is replaced by r so we will try to find these two expressions and again you can see both are same so it means this is exact. Once this is exact you can find the solution by using here. Instead of the y constant it's a theta is there. What is that here? Terms in the n not containing x. So what is that? Is there any term which is not containing r? No. So it means this part is nothing but my 0. You can see here as a 0. Now how you can integrate them? This is nothing but the r square by 2. This is constant, so this is r of sine theta. This is again constant, so this is r cos theta is nothing but c. That's the required answer of this problem. 
look at the another one is there you have to find the value of the y for which this is exact and also you have to find this solution again you have to compare the value of the m and n you can see that m is a coefficient of the dx now here is the dx here so this is my m and this is my n you can find this here now since it is given that it's the exact it means both are equal so if you equate them what will happen lambda is nothing but the 2 so once it is 2 then you have also find the solution so therefore the solution is my here so you can substitute the value of the m m is my here you can substitute the value of lambda into this what is the value of this here terms in the n not containing x so that only for the 3 y square now you can integrate them this is the keeping x y constant so this is nothing but x cube this is keeping y constant so 2 x 2 this is constant this is here is the right answer of this problem look at the another example is there again you have to compare them you will get the m and n here you will find their derivatives this how you find the derivative with respect to n is here this is the u into v form so if you take this x here plus e raised to power x upon y of this is nothing but my here now if you open this bracket what will happen this is my 0 if you open this bracket this part will be cancelled out so the right answer will be here you can equate them both are same so therefore this is the exact and then you can find its solution here what is the term in n not containing x is there any term no so it means this part is my 0 you can solve them how you can solve them this is the integration of the x in this case y is a constant so e raised power x integration is here upon 1 upon y plus 0 is c is the right answer quickly look on the next example are there you have to find the value of the n and which is the exactness is given to you so you can compare again you will get the m and n now they are exact so it means they are equal so if you equate them what will happen n is nothing but my 3 and also you want to solve this so what is the solution of this problem is my here so you, what is the value of the n which is not containing x this is nothing so that's a 0 you have to substitute the n value here now I think you can easily solve this integrate keeping y constant so y square is outside it's x square by 2 it's 3 y is outside so it's a x cube by 3 is the right answer of this problem look at the another is there check whether it's exact or not you can again compare them m or n you can find the partial derivative of this with respect to y this is nothing but my here you can partial derivative of the n with respect to x this will be 0 this is my 2y minus minus plus of 2x you can see both are same so it means this is my exact but here also you have to find the solution so again once it is exact you can find the solution by here so what is the value of the m is this one x plus y whole square of dx is there any terms in the n which is not containing x this part only so that is of the minus y square of this so how you can integrate them this is the keeping x as a constant y as a constant so this is nothing but my of this minus y cube by 3 is nothing but my c is there or you can simplify them you will get this as otherwise this is enough for them look at the one more examples are there now in this case you have to see there is no particular define of the m are there so firstly you have to equate you have to combine all these coefficients of the dx and then you have to pair them as of the y so which is written like here now this is my n this is my m so if you compare them and you can take the derivatives you can see again both are same so which is the exact differential equation the solution will be again here what is the answer of this is is there any term which is not containing x only y so this part is only my y and this part is my here how you can integrate them this is a keeping x y as a constant so first part is here since y is a constant so it can be taken outside what is the integration of x square plus a square this is nothing but my 1 by a tan inverse x by a so that is nothing but my 1 by a that is a 1 upon y y will cancel out so tan inverse x by a is the right answer look at the another examples are there again you can compare them with respect to m and n you can integrate this with respect to y so there is a u into v rule this will be the 0 
when you integrate this with respect to the x again this is the x here and x again you have to use the uv root so you can see again they are same so it's a exactness is there so is there any term again in the n which is not containing x this is also containing x this is also sorry this is the n this is also x this is the part only which is not containing of this x are there so you can integrate them you will get the right answer so keeping y as a constant so y is outside e raised power x integration is my here divided by x y square is my constant so this minus y cube is my c so this will be cancelled out e x y square plus and so on look at this example are there if you consider this here down m and n are there but you can see this is not my exact so once this is not my exact what is the meaning of that then you are unable to use this method so then how you can solve this problem how you can solve this differential equation for this there is a need of this method there is a need of the integrating factor there is a need of the integrating factor that we will discuss in our next class till then you can simply learn uh, you can do more practice like whenever the problem is exact otherwise we will see some more lecture on the integrating factor in our next class till then you can simply follow this link for finding the various videos best of luck students thank you